Hello and welcome to the Six Monkey Martial Arts Hammer Fist course. Thank you for choosing my program. In this course, like we mentioned in the preview video, it's gonna be all about learning the hammer fist techniques found in the five sub-styles of Tai Sheng. Before we get into any of that, I'd like to give you a little background about myself as well as the art of Tai Sheng. Me, my name is Sifu Barber. I have been training the art of Tai Sheng for 11 years now, and I've been training martial arts for the last 20 plus years. I have taught a whole variety of students from handicapped individuals to uh, semi-pro MMA fighters. I've trained a lot of individuals, I have a lot of experience, I have a lot of practical experience as well. The art of Tai Xing is a pretty old art, it was founded in 1911. It was founded by a man named Cao Zhu. And I'm not going to get too much into his backstory, we're just going to focus more on the art form here. He was a grandmaster of an art called Tai Tong, which is a low to the ground, pretty aggressive art form. While in prison, he developed an art called Tai Xing. Tai Xing is the five sub monkeys that I told you about earlier, tall, lost, stone, drunken wood, we'll get more into those later, as well as the night monkey, which has to do with pressure points and uh, pretty advanced demok techniques. His first student, his sole student, was a man named Kinta Koi, who was a master of Pequar. Pequar is a hammer fist course. Kinta Koi then combined the three art forms, Tai Tong, Tai Xing, and Pequar, into Tai Xing Pequar. Just to be clear, I do not teach any of the Pequar. I am not certified in any of that. I only hold lineage in the art of Tai Xing through my Sifu Asang. The five sub monkeys, right, that, that we call them day monkeys, are tall, lost, stone, drunken, and wood. Tall monkey uses long strikes, right, and it's very fluid. It's soft blocking with hard offense. Lost Monkey is a more short defensive style. It does not use long reach. It uses quick, short footwork, as well as quick blocking, right, and striking. And it uses an art called Lin Su Dai Dao, which is simultaneous block and strike. Stone Monkey, like my shirt here, is a very aggressive, it's the most aggressive monkey. It's all about trapping and rooting your strike, using combinations, right, using cutting sharp angles to overwhelm your opponent. Drunken is a very fluid style. It's a very relaxed, it's very sweeping, using a little bit wider circular steps, a lot more deceitful techniques. And you, at this point, you'll start to transfer your hammer fist techniques into ax fist techniques. The difference quickly is going from external power to internal power. Lastly, we have wood monkey. Wood monkey is kind of the lump sum of the four other monkeys combined uses the Wu Wei principle, which means effortless effort. It's a very unique money monkey, and that's why it's taught last. In this course, you'll also learn something called the six harmonies, and this is crucially important. There are three external and three internal harmonies. We'll get into those later on. In this course, you're gonna be learning takedown defense, some kicks, blocking, 11 hammer fist strikes, conditioning of the forearms, hands, body, and shins. We're gonna go over some two-man drills, and most importantly, we're gonna go over the combative applications, okay? There'll be a couple other bonuses about meditation, qigong, sweeps, and you'll see all those towards the end of the course. But more, let's focus on the combative applications. A lot of people I have seen in tournaments and other martial arts schools who practice the hammer fist, one, they only get stuck at hammer fist. They never move on to the advanced techniques, which is axe fist, or they don't know the difference between the two. The second thing I see is, is, it's a shame, is everyone forgets about their stance. Stance work, and I know I sound like an old kung fu movie when I say this, stance work is the most important part of any martial art. Doesn't matter if you're doing MMA, or whatever you're doing, if you don't have a good stance, you'll get swept, you'll get taken down, you'll get your legs kicked out from underneath you, your strikes won't have any power or speed, and there's a lot you can lack from not having a good stance. If you don't have a good foundation, the building will not stand tall. Okay, just want to make that clear. In this course, you may have to have a partner for some of the drills. If you do not, don't worry. We do have the single man applications for all these. You may just need a little bit of equipment, okay? Everything you can do on your own at home, of course, but most importantly, if you never had a strike thrown at your face, it's gonna be hard for you to learn to react, right, and use that distance control and timing to overcome their opponent, okay, or your partner. Just want to put all that out there for you. I hope you enjoy the course. Please train safely and wisely, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.